In this video, you'll see how to switch the usual grid view data layout to the tile view, which displays information using Windows 8 style tiles. And you'll learn the basics of tile template configuration, such as adding data bound and unbound elements and positioning them within the template. Let's start with an existing project that already has a grid control bound to a data source. The database contains employee information including their first and last names, location, title, and photo. Let's display the same data using the Windows 8 style tiles. Use the grid controls level designer to change the view to tile view. If you launch the application right away, you'll see empty tiles. A tile for each data row has been generated automatically but no field values are displayed in them. Let's return to design time and before adding data to tiles, change their size using the item size property. Now run the grid controls designer and switch to the tile template page. The list on the left hand side displays all the columns that you had in the grid view before conversion. Select the photo column and click the right arrow button to create a new tile element. Initialize its properties to set up proper arrangement for the images within tiles. Set the image alignment to manual, then increase the image size. Set the image scale mode to zoom outside and finally set the coordinates for the image location. The preview section shows the image's borders. As you can see, the image will go outside the tiles area, creating a nice looking effect. Now run the application to see the result with actual photos displayed in tiles. Now return to the designer and click the new element button to create an unbound element. Set its text to title, alignment to manual, and specify its position in pixels. Finally, launch the app to see the result. In the next video, you'll continue working on this template by adding more fields and customizing appearance settings.